I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And I tell you what, we got some stuff lined up for you this week. Uh, it's been an unusual week on the blog. I've done some blogging, but it's been strange. And we're going to get right off with a really strange one. Well, first of all, before I do that, let me, let me, let me back up just a second. We'll back up. We're proud members of TechPodcast.com. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on DrBill.tv. Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. You know, we have both, actually. DrBill.cc, of course, is the website for the blog, where we have DrBill.cc, of course, being computer curmudgeon. That makes sense. And then DrBill.tv is our video feed of this very program. I just hit the table there. Didn't mean to. Anyway... So, and we've got something that I want you to check out on the website. You know, every time you do a program like this, the problem is how do you, how do you support it? How do you monetize it is the official net terminology. And, um, you know, there's a lot of ways to do that. And Tech Podcast Network is a big part of helping with that in terms of uh, the GoDaddy promotion that I have on the website, that's through techpodcast.com. There's another one that I want to share with you this week that if you are in any way related to getting any kind of Mac stuff, check out Mac Connection. But do it through my website, please. DrBill.cc. If you go to DrBill.cc and you look about the, I don't know, just kind of the top of the page, but a little bit to the right, You'll see it. There's a uh, there's a little ad there. It says, "Click here to shop at Mac Connection and support our netcast." Aha! If you'll click there and then go shop at Mac Connection, you know, buy yourself a a MacBook Pro. Hey, you know, or they have hard drives, they have USB devices, they have stuff that'll work on PCs too. You can get it from them. There you go. But if you go through that link, it will help support the netcast, which is really awesome. So check it out. Do that. Good little tip for you. You can shop through Mac Connection through drbill.cc. Okay? Cool. All right. Let's get into the tech news of the week. We have some very strange tech news. We're going to start off with some geek culture. Now, the geek culture, every time I think about this, I think this is really strange, and it is. A cat will, in fact, serve jury duty. Yes. See what happened? This lady filled out the census form last time, and there's a section there for pets. So she put her pet's name down, Tabby Sal, interesting name, but at any rate, puts the cat down under pets, and the uh, <laughs> the California jury folks called up the cat for jury duty. Now, she called up and said, look, it's a cat. And they said, well, I'm sorry, well, you, the cat has to serve. And she said, the cat doesn't speak English. And the jury people said, well, that's okay. <laughs> I I just don't know. So the people that wrote the story says a website for the U.S. judicial system states that jurors are not expected to speak perfect English. I guess not if they're cats. Now my cat does a fair... Well, we won't get into that. As I said on the blog, sometimes I think my cat would do better than a lot of jurors. But hey, she's a very smart cat. She can bark like a dog. I kid you not. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. This cat went to the door, saw another cat, she doesn't like other cats, and started going, roof, roof. <laughs> hey, weird attracts weird. What can I say? Anyway, next item. Let's move along. 
Microsoft promotes HTML5. Now, I find this interesting on several levels. Microsoft has never been known for supporting web standards. Know what I mean? But they're really proud of IE8 and IE9, Internet Explorer 8 and 9. 9 is about to be released. It's in beta now. And they've done a much better job about supporting web standards. Good thing. But they're so jazzed about it that they want to promote HTML5 with an official HTML5 logo. <laughs> I've got it here on the blog. You can check it out at drbill.cc, computer curmudgeon, and you'll see that it looks very superhero-y. It's like a shield kind of thing. Anyway, they're promoting it with that, which is odd. So now I'm sure we'll see websites popping up everywhere that has the official little HTML5 logo. Right. Don't look for it on my site just yet. Okay. Speaking of good old Microsoft, <laughs> when I got started with web design many, many, many years ago, basically right after the web came out, 92, I kind of got involved around 94. But at any rate, uh, at the time I was looking for a WYSIWYG web editor. I wasn't really up on HTML at that point. Now I code in Notepad. You know, you're not a real web dude unless you do it in Notepad. <laughs> used to irritate me with all the people that said, I designed the site in Notepad. Till I learned HTML and then I was like, dude, I designed the site in Notepad. <laughs> You know, what What goes around seems to come around. But at any rate, I was looking for a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, web editor, and I used Microsoft Front Page. Now, it was you had to buy it. It was like 130 bucks or something. But I bought Front Page, and I used it for many, many, many years. There weren't that many WYSIWYG web editors out there. But uh, anyway, now, today... I use a WYSIWYG editor called Composer with a K, K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R, Composer, uh, which is actually a branch, you know, open source, how they branch. It's a branch of the InView project, NVU, which was affiliated with Lindos, which became, <laughs> boy, I'm having to really go through the archives on this one. Became Lindos, started out as Lindos, became something else. I don't remember. Anyway, somebody will write me and say, hey, Dr. Bill, at such and such. Anyway, I was a member of that community for a very, very long time, and I was really excited about Lindos. Microsoft sued them and said, you can't call it Lindos. That's too close to Windows. Look, Lindos starts with an L. Get over it. Anyway, so... But some folks there supported the Envy project to create a WYSIWYG open source web editor. And then when the whole Lindos thing went away, pretty much, that fell into, I started to say disrepair, but I guess that's not the right term. They quit producing new versions, supporting it. And so it was picked up by a guy who changed it over to Composer with a K, K-O-M. So, that's the one I use now. And it's actually quite nice. <laughs> Besides that, it's free. Free is good. Well, anyway, and I also, of course, use PSPad, uh, which is a programmer's editor. It does, it does do WYSIWYG. Okay, it doesn't do WYSIWYG, but it will highlight code and tags and things. And it's, it's nice. So, between the two, I'm good. Okay? But Microsoft stopped producing front page, which I didn't even notice because I wasn't using it anymore, and I didn't want to pay for it anyway. But Microsoft recently has come out with a new web editor, web editor, HTML editor, which uh, is called, let's see, let's see, let's see, it's called Web Matrix. Yes, Web Matrix. There is no spoon. <laughs> anyway, Web Matrix is a tool that lets users create, build, and deploy websites based on the web technologies and content management systems of their choosing. 
That's what Microsoft says. Anyway, it's a 40 meg download. It's kind of heavy. You know, I mean, Composer is this little bitty thing. But it's got a lot of stuff built into it. I don't wait for me to download it. I don't want it, don't need it. Okay? But if you want to play with it, play with it. Hey. Okay. Anyway, Geek Website of the Week. We're not going to have a drum roll for this. Ha ha! Because it's not Geek Software of the Week. I only do drum rolls for Geek Software of the Week. And that's beginning to get to me. But, Geek Website of the Week is a very interesting website. It is instantwatcher.com. This is a good tip for you. If you, like me, are a Netflix user, now you know about my Roku box, right? Roku, oh man, I love the Roku box. And what's making it even cooler is I joined Netflix, finally, and I joined up with the streaming plan through the Roku box. Good stuff, I'm telling you. So anyway, uh, the problem is the Netflix interface in terms of doing searches, mm, a little clunky. Okay, I'm sure they'll improve it. But I hit the thing again. I'm a, this is my ring. My ring is hitting this metal table here, making that little tinky sound. It's annoying. But I can't, see, I talk with my hands like my dad. My dad always talked with his hands. He said if you tied his hands, he just couldn't say anything. So I guess I inherited that. Anyway, I'm digressing again. The point is that it's kind of hard to look for things in Netflix and find what you're looking for. So, this guy wrote an interface, and here's what you got to do. You go on the web, you log into your Netflix account. Once you're logged into your Netflix account, you then go to this website called instantwatcher.com. You can then go in and search for stuff by genre, you can search for by name, by whatever, it will find it, and it will actually do even recommendations and stuff, and then when you click on it, it will add it to your instant queue. Basically, this guy wrote this website based on the Netflix API, which has been released and is open, which is cool. That's very innovative, okay? So it's cool stuff. Now, here's, here's the thing. Don't get confused on this site. There's a premium thing where you can join up and be a member. I, you know, I don't begrudge him that. But you can do it all for free if you just go to Netflix first, log in there, then go to instantwatcher.com. Okay? Little tip. All right. Next item. Will Duke Nukem Forever finally be released? I know this has been a running gag on the web for many years now because Duke Nukem was announced and then it was total vaporware and it never was released and it got to be a running joke. Everybody said, yeah, Duke Nukem, which will take forever to come out, you know, etc. Well, they claim they're finally going to release it in May of this year. Yeah, well, we'll see. They've announced it before. I told the Game Master, my son, they're supposed to release it in May. He says, of what year? <laughs> I said, this year. And I said, as a matter of fact, matter of fact, they even have the cover art for the game. He says, so what? They've had that before. He doesn't believe it. And, you know, it's like some of the people said on the site where I saw this announced. They said, who cares anymore? <laughs> who even remembers? Duke Nukem. <laughs> us old geezers, I guess. I don't know. But anyway... Who knows, maybe it'll come out. If so, I'm sure the Game Master will probably try it and give us a heads up one way or the other. Okay. By the way, a little bragging time here from old dad. The Game Master at High Point University made the Dean's List. Dude. Aha. Just wanted to share that with you. Because I know you remember back in days of yore when he would come on the program and we would have... Witty repartee and banter. So, maybe we'll do that again sometime. If I can get him tied down long enough. He's just all over the place. Anyway, so, proud of that dude. He's just right on top of things. And he's actually, he's majoring in gaming. How do you do that? 
I mean, I didn't. I wasn't able to do it. Of course, when I came along, there were barely computers. So maybe that's why. But at any rate, so we'll we'll get him on sometime, do a little interview with him, and see what kind of cool stuff he's playing with. I know they've got these little things where, you know, they've got the the motion capture stuff with the little balls on the suits, you know, that you've seen and all that. they got all kinds of cool stuff where he is. It's just awesome. Anyway, so maybe we'll get a tour one day. Maybe just shoot a bunch of video. How would that be? So there you go. Just wanted to catch you up on where things are with the doctor and my progeny. So... Until next time, remember that the doctor is out of here. Yes, indeed.